guys, today I'm here with an empties video showing you my beauty trash, what I've used up lately, what do I recommend, what should you pass on, and if you're curious about this look, I did just film a tutorial, so that will of course be linked down below, but let's go ahead and get started. I always, always, always get questions about what I'm using in my hair, and I did do a curly hair routine recently, so I'll link to that down below, but I feel like empties videos are where you really get to see what I'm using in my hair, because it's empty, and no surprise here, we have some Marc Anthony products in tradition of the empties video. Uh, the Curl Enhancing Styling Foam, I think this is probably my second or third that I've gone through of this. Love it if you're looking for a good curl definer. I know it's a mousse, but it's actually good. And then this is a very interesting, deems itself or calls itself a foam. It's the Strictly Curls Perfect Curl 7-in-1 Leave-In Treatment Foam. So this isn't supposed to be um, a definer like the mousse is. This is supposed to defrizz. It does say define, moisturize, detangle, smooth, soft, and shine. But I treat this like it is a leave-in conditioner. And it does. It's very interesting. It has a foam texture, but it does add a lot of hydration, a lot of softness. And then I will follow up with this. And it does, like them in combination or separately, doesn't feel like it down my hair it gives me really beautiful soft defined curls so no surprise here but I highly recommend the Strictly Curls line. I finished up a shampoo this is from Phyto Specific this is their curl hydration shampoo I really like this line uh, uh, this one says it's for curly coiled and relaxed hair and this is an interesting shampoo texture it almost doesn't feel like it's gonna be moisturizing because it has almost a clear texture which generally I stay away from clear shampoos Bless you, Rue. We're just sneezed. Bless her. Um, but I do really like this. I used the mask from this line last night, and I really like it. And there's something else I have, the curl definer. I haven't played around much with the curl definer from this line, but I do really like it. And I like that it comes in a smaller bottle, because sometimes shampoos for curly hair come in these huge bottles, and I'm like, let's be honest, it's going to take me a year to get through it. Like, make the shampoo small and the conditioner gigantic, please. So I appreciate that this comes in a nice small format. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm 100% filming this empties video because I just finished that tutorial, and I was like, I love my makeup. I need to film another video. So I don't totally know when this is going to be uploaded, but I do have a best makeup removers video in the bank ready to be uploaded at some point. So uh, this is mentioned in there. It is from Lip It All. What are they called? this the cleansing face oil so I really like this I've gotten so into uh, cleansing balms cleansing oils over the past year year and a half whether you have oily skin or not they're such a good easy option to remove your makeup plus the satisfaction factor of going in on dry skin with an oil or a balm it just feels great um, but those can be a little bit on the higher end side sometimes so this is a really good one it's not like the best one I've ever used but it's definitely a great option and lip it all is available at Walmart I'm pretty sure all of their products are under 10 bucks this product looks super beat up but it means I've been using it and you would have seen uh, in my curly hair routine I used up the or not I, I sorry I used the butter cream as a leave-in and it looked as destroyed as this. I don't know why it ends up looking so... I had like a leak in my hair drawer, I think what it was, but the Pantene really took a beating. But this is the Pantene Gold Series, not available in Canada. I did actually just repurchase their co-wash from Amazon.com. That is possible. Um, but it's an incredible... If you live in the United States, you have curly hair, go buy it. Oh my god. No matter your curl pattern, I think you could really enjoy a lot of the products from this line. And the line itself is sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, really, really good stuff. This is the conditioner. I've used an entire co-wash. I've used up their mask. I really love the line. I want it to come to Canada. Hello, Pantene. We have curly hair too. Um, but a really great, affordable, easily accessible line if you are in the United States. One last hair item that I want to mention is from Kristen S. This is the Reconstructive Moisture Mask. And I uh, was sent this line by well.ca months and months ago. And I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. Uh, to bring up the curl routine again I used the curl definer in that I used up this entire mask I was really surprised because this mask especially is not it doesn't say it's for curly hair but I thought it did a really good job moisturizing my hair it was a great I normally leave my masks in overnight uh, and I really like this one available on well.ca if you're Canadian pretty affordable prices pretty much anything is under $20 and if you live in the United States you can find it at Target but this is a quite a popular line I feel like but it's only new to Canada this year that's why I have only just discovered it but really like this mask so I recommend you check out the entire Kristen S line because I have not been disappointed yet 
Wait, one more hair product I want to talk about. Uh, the Moroccan Oil Moroccan Oil Treatment. I'm on my second bottle of this, and I've got another one in my Sephora cart to be purchased. I absolutely love this. If you have recommendations for other hair oils and you have curly hair, please let me know. Uh, generally, I stay away from things like jojoba oil or avocado oil straight for no particular reason. I'm just a product junkie, and I like products. Oh my god, Rue over there scratching herself making so much noise and I and I find I buy these things to like make my own DIY potions and never end up reaching for them for whatever reason so if you do have any hair oil recommendations let me know but I freaking love this stuff this was a limited edition like 10 year yeah 10 year special edition packaging but yeah well beautiful oil so much moisture so shiny adds or sorry reduces the frizz in my hair I highly recommend it but we'll move away from hair now I promise these are from Sephora these are their makeup removing wipes these are the, uh, what scent is this? Yuzu, I believe. Is it all French? Oh no, Yuzu Cleansing Wipes. These are for revitalizing and for toning. I can't really speak to that, but like I said, I have been using the rose ones and the scent is like this fruity rose. It smells so good. I don't ever want to run through them because they smell amazing, but uh, I really like these ones too, but the rose are definitely my preference. Finished up a makeup remover from Marcel. I didn't include them actually in my makeup removers video. I meant to, but um, I really like all of Marcel's makeup removers. This one is the Micellar Eye Makeup Remover, the micellar gel sorry I think I like their liquid more than I like the gel but this is still a really good one it doesn't feel harsh on the eyes it doesn't make your eyes burn I believe it's all yeah Canadian Dermatology Association um, approved or recognized sorry paraben free oil free alcohol free hypoallergenic Marcel if you're Canadian is available at Walmart Shoppers Drug Mart so very easy to get your hands on and I I like a gel texture because I feel like sometimes with eye like liquid removers it can kind of get in your eyeballs a little bit while this doesn't and it doesn't sting at all it feels really really good and cooling as well because it is a gel not exciting at all but I did finish up a nail polish remover this is from Sally Hansen I got it from Dollarama three dollars though like what kind of dollar store and honestly if I was to go to Walmart or something it'd probably be less than three dollars but I picked it up from Dollarama because it's just more convenient for me whenever I'm in there I get like cotton pads and um, makeup remover because sometimes the dollar store it's not expensive but it's more than other stores but it's just like a convenience thing it's the closest thing to me so this is the kind of uh, nail polish remover that I've been using for the past few years ever since I moved to Toronto because of the convenience it is a good one absolutely nothing wrong with it um, and then if I do have um, kind of of any glitter or anything on my nails I will use the Quo Acetone that one is my favorite but I try not to use that too often because it can dry out your nails while this one does not I've got a few makeup items in here finished up a benefit gimme brow this like I've said before I do like it but if I was to have to choose I do prefer the <sighs> hi baby kitty uh, I do prefer the 24-hour brow setter because it gives better hold and I like the way it makes my brows look. Uh, this one everybody else seems to enjoy, but I'm definitely a 24-hour brow setter kind of gal. Then this is kind of a skincare item, but it is the Neutrogena, what do they call this? I can't remember the exact name, but essentially this uses light therapy for acne. So I use this as a spot treatment and it does come with like a particular number of uses. So I have run through this, but I do have another one. I really like it. I really do feel like it helps to um, kind of move my pimples along. And the nice thing about it is that you just need to hold it to over the pimple for a minute three times. So there's no creams if you're heading out or you want to put on makeup or you want to do anything like that it's much easier they also have an, an entire face mask that i have used before that you kind of put on and that has the lights over it as well so i was a little bit skeptical about those products when they came out but i really feel like they do something and it's nice because you're not adding another product into your routine necessarily so it's going to depend on the type of acne you have and i don't know all of the functionality behind it but i do know that i see a difference and it has a lot to do do with the uh, bacteria that's on your skin so it's going to depend on the type of acne you have if I have something that's super cystic it may not get in there but it can kind of help things along but if it's something that's more on the surface of the skin I definitely see a difference and I love the ease of use the Urban Decay All Nighter I love this for some reason I was so late to the bandwagon on this but I only had a travel size I've got the full size now and I'm still using it but I only had a travel size and I love it I think this helps uh, 
keep my makeup vibrant. It helps keep it on my face. It helps things look fresh. It's incredible. One of the best setting sprays out there, so I highly recommend it. And one of my favorite cream contours ever that I absolutely will be repurchasing. This, um, it's not like 100% gone, but it got really smushed and the lid is falling off, so I'm gonna repurchase it for sure. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Contour Stick in Wears Walnut. It's one of the easiest cream contours to use, if not the easiest. It blends out beautifully. It looks super natural on the skin. I've used it in plenty of videos. Um, cream contour, I've said it before, but can look super intimidating, really, really scary. So if you're looking to dabble, this is a great one to do it with because not only is it high quality and easy to work with, but super affordable. It's under five bucks. My only wish for them is that they would come out with some more shades, but the formula itself is incredible. So there you have it. That is everything I used up lately. Let me know down below if you have finishing, finished anything up. Feeling very accomplished that I used up so much makeup. It's a lot for me, okay? You know, standards are low around here. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!